Hi everybody! So my background might look a little bit different and that's because I'm actually sitting opposite the way I usually sit. So this is the other wall across from the wall you usually see in my videos. And this is my children's crib and it's where I keep all of my antique baby dolls that I love so much. And I usually have the side on it but I took it off for this video. I keep the side on it because I do have two children under the age of five and they come in here and do a Viking raid on my toy room from time to time and I just want to keep these dolls safe and protected. So they're usually in their baby cage over here to keep my children from tearing them up. Today I want to talk about one of the oldest dolls in my collection, if not the oldest. I'm still not sure, but it's the Didi Baby made by, I want to say f and I know the reproduction was made by f and but um, the Didi Baby came out in 1934, and I'm also going to be comparing a reproduction. So we're doing another, another comparison video where I'm comparing the antique doll with the reproduction, and we'll see how they hold up, how they compare. Okay, let me get Didi Baby. I keep her next to Chipper. The other one in red is um, Chipper. Chipper's an ideal composition doll. So here is Didi Baby. She might look a little rough. She's been rolling around this earth for quite a while. So the Didi Baby is what is known as a drink and wet. So you can give them a bottle with water. There's a tube that goes down inside to their bottom where they potty. And they do have sleep eyes. My daddy's eyes stick a little bit, but we won't hold that against her. And this is not her original outfit, but this is what she came to me in. And it looks, you know, to be from the 40s, at least. Um, it washed up very well. It was like yellow before I washed it. Um, with these vintage doll clothes, you can wash them, not in the washing machine. Hand wash in cold water. I did use a little bit of OxyClean, so you're supposed to dissolve OxyClean in warm water. So what you want to do if you're washing vintage doll clothes is you want to use warm water to dissolve the OxyClean and then wait for it to cool before you add your garment, okay? You don't want anything to ruin, especially with these old ones. It's not like you can go to the store and buy this. Once it's done, it's done. Okay, she's got some condition issues. Obviously, a lot of her hair paint has come off. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to redo that. Um... I just don't have a lot of experience with these antique dolls, so I'm a little bit afraid. Will I make her any worse? Probably not. That's what the Savage P always says on her blog. If you haven't seen the Savage P doll blog, it's a great, great blog. I love it. I've read all of them now, all of her posts. What was so unique about the Didi Baby is, you know, this was a time when dolls were mostly composition or cloth or bisque or some of the other materials they had been using but she is made of rubber so she's like the precursor to the dolls we have now which are made out of vinyl and a nice little detail she had was these um, what are known as applied ears she has these little rubber ears um, a lot of times when you see these for sale they don't have the ears any longer now mine um, her arm is squished her fingers are looking a little gnarly and that's to be expected. This one's in pretty good condition, actually, considering, um, you know, usually you find them in pretty bad shape. I have some seen some really nice ones, but they tend to be a lot of money. This little girl wasn't very much, so. And she came with a dress, so happy for that. She does have a split in her leg. This antique rubber, you know, it's one of the early, earliest rubbers. They don't, they just don't hold up well. The original Tiny Tears, you know, you see similar conditions. Um, it just, this old rubber, it just deteriorates, unfortunately. It's a shame. So, you almost always have to find one that's pristine or just get a reproduction. Um, which is what I did. I got a reproduction. And we're going to take a look at her and see. So, this is the 1985 Daddy baby. Oh, I, there we go. As you can see, she's very pink. And she has, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, 
maybe Caracul. I thought it might be Curly Q, but it's spelled C-A-R-A-C-U-L hair. And unfortunately, I couldn't find one that was in my price range that had the molded hair, which is what, when the hair is painted on, it's called molded hair. So I had to get this one with the curly hair. Um, she needs to be cleaned. I'm going to be very honest. The box is old and dusty, and she's got some white on her eyes and some stuff on her face. So I will be removing her from the box and cleaning her. She's got her little knit booties. She has her bracelet, which the elastic's worn out. She's got her little gold heart that the F&B dolls come with. Her original blanket. That might be a layette. I'm not sure. Her outfit really reminds me of the um, one pieces that the Tiny Tears come in. Those are my reproduction Tiny Tears. They're going to get their own video soon. But I'm still working on my original Tiny Tears so that we can do a comparison. Tiny Tears needs a lot of work. Um, and I've got her paper here. And I just love this little cake graphic that's on it. But she's the 50th anniversary edition. And I wanted to share some information from that, just like I did with the um, bubbles, okay? The mold for this 14 and a half inch reproduction of Didi was created from an original. Uh, the cute, cute bracelet on both dolls is a modern day version of the baby bracelet put on Didi's wrist when she was born in 1934. December 1936, Fortune Magazine had an article about the dolls which said, Miss Marie Whitman, a middle-aged language teacher in Brooklyn, got the idea for Didi from no one knows where, brought it into Mr. Hugo Baum, and we recognized that name because that was the gentleman with um, Bubbles, um, who fell for it at once. In England, some Didies were put on display at Harrods and promptly removed when patrons pronounced the drink and wet feature vulgar. But the Duchess of Kent came and asked for one soon thereafter, whereupon they began to go very well. Didi has been on the market for almost 50 years, and that was as of 1985, and remains one of the most popular and beloved baby dolls of all time. Flyshaker and Baum, Baum, creators of dolls are different, announced the arrival of the new Didi baby. She's taken New York by storm, yada, yada, yada. Originally, she came in 11, 15, and 20-inch sizes. A 19-piece layette was also available for the doll. So, yeah. 19, 34, 35, 1985. In my last comparison video, I didn't do very many close-ups, and I apologize for that. I sit down and I do these videos by the seat of my pants, so I'm trying to show y'all as much detail as possible. So you can really get a good idea of what these dolls are like if you're considering purchasing one for yourself. I believe I got both of these on eBay. If it wasn't eBay, it was Mercari. Occasionally, I will purchase things on Marketplace. Very occasionally. Mainly, I stick to eBay and Mercari. I always price compare. I always look for the best deal. Okay, so... That is the Vintage and Reproduction Didi Baby comparison. Let me know what you thought, what you liked. Do you think that they compare at all? Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Remember, you matter and the world is a better place because you're here. Bye.